Welcome to Pep Pep Warfield's Creation Studio. You can find me on Facebook as uh, Musings in Wood, uh, as the wood terms. You can email me directly at uh, musingsinwood at gmail.com. And uh, you can also find me on my YouTube channel, which is this, where this is going, uh, Pep Pep Warfield's Creation Studio. I thought I'd give you a little tour of the studio today. So uh, let's get started. So this is my messy little studio. I will uh, show you all the different things in it. Just actually just recently rearranged a few things, so it's still a bit messy. It's always messy, actually. So I put these shelves in. These drawers in are for common tools that anybody in the house would use, like screwdrivers, tape measures, hammers, things like that. Um, so they're easily accessible. This is for protection equipment. I got my box of rags up there. And then the shelf is just a complete mess. That is supposed to be for common items as well, but uh, if things just get dumped there. And of course, my toolbox, which of course is a mess again. But then the bottom in the uh, shelf that can be closed uh, is all the flammable liquids. I should close that when I'm done. Shame on me. Um, the shelf up here, oops, standing too close. That's all our camping equipment. Trying to keep it dust free. The tent should be in a container, but it's not, so I gotta fix that. Um, the shelf itself is an easel I made for, uh, I was painting a few uh, saw blades, old saw blades. Um, I think I have pictures of them posted. Maybe not. I'll have to put them out. Um, I need an easel, so I, I built that. It's actually some old flooring that I pulled up. And, of course, back here I have my old hand tools, which I love using. I just don't use them enough. And there's a process of learning how to use those, and I'm slowly getting there. Hardest part is sharpening them. Over here, I have these uh, two workbenches or uh, two dressers that I use for storage. And of course, I have all kinds of stuff on them right now because, again, I just rearranged these. They used to be stacked on top of each other, but that wasn't working. I have my table saw mounted under here that I can just slide it out. That used to be sunk into the table, this table, but it really wasn't usable um yeah it was usable when i used the table saw i just don't use it very often um this is a vice i made it's just threaded rod that goes through some wood and i can crank it out and, uh, it mostly works um i do want to come up with a little better design but it does work for what i use it for it's in the wrong place at, this, at the moment. So over here I have my lathe. And uh, this is a pretty decent lathe. I enjoy using it. I bought it. Um, oh jeez. Dropped my phone. Bought it from somebody whose father had, had was a shop teacher. Um, I had made a few modifications to it. I'll show you what happened. Last week I was turning and I must have had a crack in a tool rest and it just shattered in three pieces. So I didn't think I'd be successful at welding it back together and I wasn't. Um, it's cast iron and that's not easy to, to fix. Really should forge weld it. So anyways, I skipped the best part. Bottom drawer, which I have to move up top, is where I have all my screws and stuff and bolts and whatnot. I don't have them organized. I have them separated, but not organized. Um, I kind of enjoy digging through looking for, for the right parts. Anyways, that's my treadmill motor. And I had to make my own pulley, and then I had to find a way to mount it. So it's kind of screwed in with construction screws. It does work. Works rather well. I do have to tighten the belt and I have it too loose at the moment. Um, 
underneath this piece of linoleum is another drawer to a dresser that I have storage for lathe parts. So let me power on the lathe. I'm going to show you some of my tools while I'm doing this. So as soon as I plug this in, I'll show you what I'm doing. The, uh, why is it? Of course, now I can't get it in. The uh, treadmill motor runs off 70 volts DC. <clears throat> uses a pulse width modulator to control the speed. Um, in this box is the actual treadmill power supply that feeds the motor um, that converts the AC to DC. And then in this box, which I made, I have a microcontroller which generates the, the pulse width modulation to vary the speed. I have a safety switch down here so I can turn the power off quickly, although it does take a while for it to, to run down. The uh, display is actually not working right. I have an issue with the chip that I have to fix. So with this switch, I can change it from forward to the reverse to have relays in, in the, the box down here, which just switch directions, of, switches polarity, on off switch, and then I can change the speed. So I'll show you that. Yeah, it runs really well. So I had to uh, really toss those down. I have a Nova G2 chuck on the lathe, which I just love. Um, I do want to get an adapter so I can do bigger pieces of wood. Um, I'm kind of stuck with size limitations because the tenon can only be so big for this chuck. Um, I had issues with keeping the uh, pulley I made on the shaft. Um, I have a, a bolt that goes in through the shaft. I know some people will scream at me for that. But it uh, holds it on there tight. And then I had to get another piece of um, cast iron bar uh, pipe uh, fitting. And I have it bolted through to this piece. Uh, so it keeps this pretty stable. Uh, without it, it would uh, it was tight at first, but from where it would start to wobble. So I'm going to switch gears here. And I'm going to show you the bandsaw. But I have to unplug the lathe because I use the same power supply for the lathe, the bandsaw, and the uh, vacuum system. Because I only have one good board from all the treadmills I got. I had one burnout. So that's for the bandsaw. And I'm actually <clears throat> contemplating making a switch. So I can just, <clears throat> excuse me, click from bandsaw to lathe to, to vacuum. Although, there is a safety feature with not having a switch and having to manually change it. So, anyways, this is a bandsaw I made um, two years ago. It is uh, the, the only parts I kept from the original Craftsman 12 inch bandsaw is that cover and the two wheels. Um, the 12 inch wasn't big enough for me to cut blanks for turning. And I had a friend give me a bunch of really big bandsaws, bandsaw blades. So I decided to upsize it. I actually at some point want to build a roller table so that I can process uh, timber. Um, of course, I have to move things around or take it outside, but I could I could do it with the uh, right blade. So let me turn this on. 
and you'll be able to see how it runs. So I'm not turning it on full speed. Um, I do have a blade guard. I have a blade guard that goes over this, and I should drop this down to the size of the wood that I'm cutting. I made this just to hold the logs so I can cut them uh, be straight so I can mount them on the lathe. Um, has some difficulties with this building it. Um, one of it was trying to keep the, the blade to track correctly. So I used a U-bolt. Um, actually, it's not a U-bolt. It's just two bolts. It goes, attaches to this metal plate. So I can tighten the top or loosen the bottom to adjust the, the angle of the, the top wheel. And that will adjust the tracking on the blade. Um, I have this threaded rod so I can raise and tighten and, and loosen the, the uh, blade. And it's on a garage door opener track so I can, I can really get any size blade. Um, I have these round wooden wheels that I made thinking that I would be doing, uh, doing a lot of adjusting I'm not. So I actually want to replace these with metal so I don't have as much flex in the uh, whole head assembly. The, uh, <clears throat> I have a thrust bearing, which is actually a pulley, idle pulley off a treadmill. And it actually works really well. Um, and then two uh, bearings here guide bearings that I can adjust in and out and left and right. Um, I don't have a lower set of bearings, so I can't really do uh, circle cuts or anything like that yet. I haven't figured that part out. I also don't have enough bearings to do the same thing as I did on top. The uh, top I do, I have welded on right now. I want to cut the weld off and make it adjustable so I can raise and lower the the table. The other issue I have with it is my feet are not long enough. So it wants to tip forward a little bit, uh, flex forward. I don't want to say tip forward. So I got to make those feet a little bit longer. Fortunately, right now I have lots of steel sitting around. So let me switch over to the vacuum. All right, so this is my vacuum system. That is a 55-gallon drum, which is almost full. And the bouncy house blower, which is vented out the window. Um, the bouncy house blower has a treadmill mower on it. So I had to do some modifications to the blade. It's got a slight wobble because... Um, I didn't drill the hole quite straight enough. I had to do it by hand, but it does work. Um, next time around, I'll have to make a jig or something to, to, to drill it better. Um, and I'll turn it on. The other issue I have with it, I think it's slow. The other issue I have is I bought a pool vacuum hose and that's, um, Corrugated on the inside is a one and a half inch hose, not big enough um, to suck up some of the shavings and it clogs. The other thing I did is I installed overhead pipes so I won't have to trip over the hose. And guess what? I used one and a half inch pipe with 90 degree elbows. Wrong thing to do. Uh, get clogged up all the time. In fact, yesterday I accidentally sucked up a, a rag and it's stuck in the pipe, so I gotta take it all down and clean it out. So, one of the other things I have on this, let me turn that off, is I needed a place to spray paint, lacquer, or varnish, or whatever. So, I built this little um, painting thing painting box. So it's a piece of one eighth uh, 
plywood that I just have curved and fastened to the table. I have a, uh, this is actually a pulley I made for the lathe when I was using a four and a half inch Forstner bit and needed to have more power, um, which I can still use because I didn't make any modifications to it. So what I did, I have the switch covered up right now. So I had the hose coming from the vacuum system so I can just suck out the fumes, fumes and exhaust them outside, which it does work. I used it a few times. About ready to drop a whole bunch of stuff that I need to clean up. So I have a modified incline motor from a treadmill to turn the uh, the table, so I can uh, just focus on painting and not uh, trying to move stuff around. Um, and the uh, top is actually a piece of drywall, so. The only thing I need yet is a piece of plastic or something over the top here so I can cover it when I'm turning um, because you get wood chips all over the place. So it works really well. Only thing with the treadmill motor, the incline motor, is it wasn't designed to run for a very long time so it does heat up and will shut off if I run it for too long. Typically when I'm painting, I'm not running it that long. So. Aside from storing junk, this is my workbench. Um, I have a dresser drawer under there with all my power tools, which I have to sort out and clean up. And then the, the area with all the rest of the junk I need to clean up because I want to store the wood I'm going to turn under there. Um, this is a uh, cabinet I pulled out of the sink when we remodeled, so I have stuff stored under there as well. And this is my workspace for work and, 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 and doing my electronic stuff. So that is a cabinet of my dad's that's full of electronic parts. Uh, and my entertainment center up there, which is just a tablet, old tablet running um, Plex TV, which is a media um Kind of like a personal version of Netflix. So I have two hard drives on there with all my movies and I can uh, oops, stream them wherever. So storage, 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 never enough, never enough storage. So one more thing I'm going to show you is I put in an exhaust fan. Um, I actually bought a filter for it, hoping that I could filter out dust. But then I thought, well, I'll just exhaust everything outside. So I have um, a uh, variable AC power supply, so that changes the AC voltage. The fan blade is off a treadmill motor that, that failed. It was a cooling fan for the motor. And the motor itself in there is a motor out of the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> As you can see, it goes pretty fast and a bit noisy, but it does work. So I can uh, suck all the fumes and dust and stuff from the outside. I do have the filter from the chocolate floor I can put over top if I wanted to. Um, and then uh, those are all my spare dull bandsaw blades. Um, they are 144 inches, so they're pretty big. Uh, I have to get them, I have to custom order them, but they're not that expensive, like 12 bucks, I think. So that's it for the shop. Ooh, more storage, more storage. Um, you got a shop light up there. <sighs> that's pretty much everything for now. Um, I will, uh, Try to post some more videos, especially as I make things. I wish I would have done that for this, but I got in the zone and uh, wasn't thinking about anything else but this. So my apologies on that, but we'll get there. So I hope you enjoy your night. Enjoy your day. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, click on the bell for notifications.